Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at Django Kill, also known as If You Live Shoot. Generally considered to be the most violent western ever made, Django Kill's brutal, surreal, gothic vision is of absolute pedigree. Directed by Fellini associate Julio Questi, assistant director of La Dolce Vita, the film was co-written and edited by Bernardo Bertolucci's regular writer and film editor Franco Arcali, who also made Last Tango in Paris, 1900, and stars Thomas Millian, who was in Traffic, The Yards and Amistad, and Ray Lovelock from The Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue and Fiddler on the Roof. Thomas Millian is the stranger, a bandit left for dead by his gang who have made off with the stolen gold. Rising from the grave, he will seek revenge with his pistol loaded only with gold bullets. The stranger's quest leads him to a strange town known only as the Unhappy Place, where he discovers that only one of his executors has escaped the sadistic fury of the town's people, eager to rob the stolen gold. The stranger becomes caught up in a conflict between the townsfolk and a crazy rancher, Mr Zorro, and his band of sadistic black-clad muchachos, and drawn into a bizarre world of gruesome torture, mindless violence, sexual depravity, and unfathomable madness. Hailed by director Alex Cox as one of the handful of great Italian westerns, acknowledged as the inspiration for his own Straight to Hell, Django Kill is an unforgettable audio-visual experience that has to be seen to be believed. Now fully restored from the original negative materials, Django Kill, which had to be cut by its own producer and was additionally censored in the UK, is being released in the most complete version ever, with scenes never before seen in the UK. Special features on this disc, an exclusive interview with director Julio Questi and co-star Ray Lovelock, exclusive introduction by acclaimed filmmaker Alex Cox of Repo Man and Sid and Nancy, a theatrical trailer plus Argent Westerns Trail, trailers for Argent's other Westerns releases. This film is presented in anamorphic widescreen, is 112 minutes with previously cut scenes reinserted, and the Argent Westerns Trail is 5 minutes approximately. The first time I saw Django Kill was on a Forbidden Weekend on BBC Two. It was a little offshoot from the movie drama series, and it also featured Alex Cox doing a little introduction. Back then though, Django Kill was only available in the cut form and to see this fully uncut is absolutely fantastic. Since this came out, Django Kill has had a release in the US on Blu-ray. But if you want a cheap alternative, this DVD is ready available. So this has been Luke with Django Kill. Thanks for watching.